Spokane police officer is in the hospital tonight with a serious neck injury he received from a crash involving a possible drunk driver. Five cops have been hurt on Spokane roads because of possible drunk drivers in just the past five weeks. KXLY 4's Andy Bishop is live downtown tonight with a look at this latest crash. And this all started as an armed robbery in North Spokane and quickly turned into a very serious crash here on the intersection of Riverside and Brown, which ended with a police officer being loaded into an ambulance and on his way to the hospital. A crushed cruiser, shattered glass, and a mangled SUV marked the spot where a Spokane police officer was seriously injured early this morning. The officer was on his way to help another officer pursuing two suspects involved in a stabbing. As the officer approached Riverside and Brown, police say an SUV driven by 19-year-old Taylor Shockman broadsided his cruiser. The male officer fractured his neck. Shockman was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, charged with vehicular assault, then released to her parents. Investigators believe Shockman was driving under the influence. Spokane County Sheriff's Office is taking over the investigation because it involves a police officer. It's a crash Sergeant Dave Reagan believes could have been much worse. You know, a neck fracture, you break your neck, there's, there's significant risk of um, paralysis or death. And so he, he is very fortunate that he did not suffer greater injury and we're, we're very happy for that. In the past five weeks, five officers have been injured on the job. In July, a motorcycle cop pursuing a reckless driver was thrown from his bike by a downed utility line. Two weeks later, three detectives were hit by an alleged drunk driver on division. Even though we're, we're, we try to be ever alert and, and try to drive as safely as possible, all it takes is one impaired driver or, or, or somebody on a cell phone or somebody distracted by something else, and you can suffer a fatality or a career-ending injury. It's, a, it's one of the very greater risks that we face. And it's likely Shockman will face additional charges such as DUI and minor in possession of alcohol. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Annie Bishop, KXLY 4 HD News. Thank you, Annie. Shortly after the officer involved crash, the stabbing suspects who started the whole chain of events were finally caught. 30-year-old Christopher Hardwick and 26-year-old Kevin Nichols. Police say the pair stabbed a man in the stomach and took his wallet to the Cenex station at Mission and Ruby. The pair, driving a stolen car, eluded police for several blocks. At one point, one of the suspects jumped in the Spokane River. Both face a rather long list of felony charges, including first-degree robbery and assault.